So we went there last time. Let's let's go here. This takes, takes me back to the bedroom. I got nothing. Shit. <laughs> ah! Stop that! Defeat. What the fuck? G'day guys, it's Mink from Escape, and today we're going to be looking at Spectre. Something I didn't even expect. Get it? Spectre? Expect? <laughs> didn't even expect to be checking out. Uh, I got a recommendation from a Reddit user, Lightstorm66. Well, it wasn't really a recommendation, he just mentioned that he hasn't tried it out, and, and he, I was like, okay, I want to look at it. And I found it on the Oculus Store, and then bam, here we go. So, we got another horror game, which I didn't expect to have for Halloween, so this is going to be the Halloween special. We're going to tap to start and get straight into it. And it's going to be frightening, if I had to guess. Now, I've got <clears throat> a very light room right now, but don't worry. It is very dark in here. Okay, so the following experience is not intended for the faint of heart. Now, this is in the concept section of the... Oh, wait. Hold your finger down when touchpad, gazing at the door, ranger rooms. Okay, cool. Yeah, this was in the concept section of the... Um, of the Oculus Store, so that's why I didn't um, pick up on it. So double tap the trackpad to flash your flashlight. Oh, I don't like that one. Okay. Okay. Flash only once you've seen the red glow of. Uh, flash only once you've seen the red glow. Uh, okay, you are now at a clue. For a <laughs> don't think I am, but sure. All right, let's give it a give it a try. Fuck. Fuck. Oh yeah, this is going to be spooky. Okay. And does it go out for a bit? How do I... Ah... Uh... How did it say to move? Oh, okay, so you look at the door to move. Okay, cool. Ugh, I don't like that. No, that's not how you do that. Okay, this is why you pay attention in tutorials, guys. <laughs> okay, go. Ah, uh, okay, so you hold to get into... Okay, cool. Da -da 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 -da. I don't like how you can't move. That's... It's not very nice. <laughs> what was the goal? Does anyone remember? Oh, I don't like being trapped here by myself. Hello? Hello? Oh, we're back in here, are we? No. Okay, so we want to go left. I'm just waiting for it to be like right behind me or something. Ah, another horror game. Oh, we can't go back the way we came, huh? Oh. Can something jump out at me so I don't feel like I'm here all alone? Okay, this is kind of weird, if I had to say so, honestly. I don't really want to look behind me, to be honest. She's probably right behind her. Oh my god. Oh, there she is. Gotcha! So the red glow of your eyes, just double tap once, and hopefully, when the light comes back on, she should not be there anymore. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh god, I can hear something. Can I hear something? Okay, so we've gone that way. Dude, the sounds are unsettling. This atmosphere, man. Oh, we've been here before. Oh, what the heck? Oh, God. You know what's worse? And you might be able to hear it. There's like a... Guy cutting down my a tree outside right now. So there's a chainsaw in the background. That's frightening. Um, sorry about the flicking around with the camera right now. Sorry, I had to breathe in for a second. <laughs> 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 
Da, 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 da. I feel like I'm going on in circles. I am going around in circles. Okay, so we went left last time. How about we go right? Well, we did that last time. All right, how about we go? So why can't I go in this door right here? This is kind of where I want to go. Because this just takes me back here. And I went there last time, so it takes me to the bedroom. Let's go in here. What? Hey! Oh my god! I double tapped on you! What the fuck? Oh my... I double tapped on her! Don't do that! Wait. So we went there last time, let's, let's go here. This takes me back to the bedroom, I got nothing. Shit. Ah! Stop that! Defeat. What the fuck? Okay, we're ready for take two. Now, I'm guessing if you turn around, there's probably a bit more that I'm missing out on. Ah, oh, fuck. Wrong button. You might have to turn around, that's the problem. I think that's why I couldn't find the doors that I'm meant to go to in this part. Okay, so, we came from left. It seems like you always... Hello. It seems like you always come from left. So if you go right... Oh, there's one there. Did you see that? Oh, wait. Oh, wrong bedroom. Okay. Okay, so this is a dead end. This bedroom is a dead end. Remember that. Now. So I wasn't looking far enough. Okay. Wait. Oh, we're back out here. What? I get it. Now we're here? Is this a maze? Am I just an idiot and there's not actually any... Oh, there's a door behind me. What? Now we're here? Wait, so... God, I hate that sound. Um, no. Let's go this one. Ooh, have I been here before? I have been here before. So we went there last time. No, we didn't. Where's this take us? Far out, man. This one? So not that one. Okay. Uh, is this it? No. Okay. Dead end. Dead end. Dude, this is so confusing. Yeah, it's definitely a maze. Like. Up. No, you should be there. Look, you're even glitching like you're about to jump on the screen. Alright. Yeah. So we went from the same door twice and it took us back to a completely different area. What? Okay. So that door takes us. What? Oh, I'm so lost. Like, it's not just me, is it? Because we always end up, doesn't matter what door we choose, we always end up in the same room. Am I just really that scared that I'm just like, doing the same thing over and over again? Like, I chose that door last time. What the heck? How am I out here? Nah, it's definitely all random. I don't think there's a way to progress. Either that or I'm super silly. Anything up there? No. Okay, so we've done those two doors. What about this one? Where's this one take us? Yes. Uh oh. There she is. Got ya. Whew. That could have been. I can't even talk properly. Alright, let me see. Okay, so there's two doors to come out here. So I'm guessing I came through that one, so let's go through this one. Is this new? No, we're back in the church. Is there a door down there? No. What's this? So this is piano area. Yeah, no. 
No. I have no clue. No clue whatsoever. You will not get this. Ding. So we've already looked all the way behind us, eh? Yeah. Yeah, no. I got nothing. I have no idea where to go in here. Looks like I'm just wandering around now. Aimlessly. Can I again? Nope. Alright, well, it looks like we need to go just keep going through doors until we eventually get to the. <laughs> oh, God! Defeat. <sighs> Alright, guys, so that was Specter. Now. I thought it was a, it was a definitely a good idea. I don't like the fact how it's always like throwing you like you can't actually follow like a nice like line of it's like a maze. I guess you can say it's a maze that just points you in each direction. And you're just constantly going through different doors that lead you in different things. Didn't really like that. I would like a lot better if it was sort of you, you knew the layout of the house and you can go around and the tension would build up there. But it, how it works is you go to the bedroom, you first see a you flash a flash in the face with your with your camera or whatever you're using the flashlight and then goes dark and then she can pop up anywhere. It doesn't matter where you are in the rest of the thing. And since you're constantly just going around in circles trying to find out where you need to go, you you don't know when she's gonna come out. And that tension is great. That's awesome. But there's no end goal. Like or maybe I'm silly. I'm silly and I've I missed a missed a door that I was I just couldn't find or I, there's some sort of secret that I just couldn't find but yeah, it was kind of just a little bit silly, hey? There was no real end goal. But I'm sure you guys can tell me down in the comments if there's something that I missed. It's got great ratings on the Oculus Store, so I'm sure that there's some there's something that I've missed. There's 100% something that I've missed. I'm just wandering around aimlessly, and I'm missing the door, and you're screaming at me at the video. Please, Michael, please, find it. <laughs> please, Mick, see the door that's just right on your left, you know? Um, I'm sure it's there, and I'm sure I missed it out. But that being said, there was definitely a lot of a lot of tension there. There was a lot of atmosphere. It was scary. The jump scare was scary when she comes out into your face. You seen it on the video. I was frightened, and she got me twice, twice in a row. Like it was only like a minute after I just looked around, and bam, there she was again, and it, it took me off guard. I, I did not expect that to jump out so quickly. I thought it was a really good game. It was a really good experience. It was definitely worth the money for me. But would I recommend you going out and buying it? Probably not. Right now it's $8, I'm sure, but it's in, still in its concept phase. Obviously, when they f keep integrating more and more stuff into the game, hopefully when they get their final release, it will reduce in price. I think that's more of a $3, $4 game than, than a, I think I paid $8 for it, which is pretty ludicrous if you think about Overflight, Vendetta Online, all those sort of things are, were $5 and below, but they've... I, I know why it was more expensive, because it's probably one or two person that developed this game. There's only two people that did it, so they need money for development, they need money for incentive to keep going and to keep updating the game. So that's fine. I don't mind su supporting developers, not in the slightest. So, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But if you do give it a thumbs down, let me know down in the comments section what we can do better in the future to help improve this channel. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next VR video. Yes.